Hey, hey, this is Mailbag 11-ish. It's going to be shot over a several day period because I need to get this and use parts of it. And I know what it is, but let's see. And of course, there's going to be more labels. Okay. Yeah, nothing on that side. Okay. A sweat. Da. A set of tweezers. Which can oops. Guess I should remove that part. So that I can pick up surface mount and let it lock in and solder. And I got a bunch of different tips for it. I'll put the shipping time and price up there or there, wherever. And the next one. Do, do, do. Come on. Ah. Oh. Man, I wasted a good bag. And. There's four of them, different sizes. Uh, basically, it's, well, it says it right there. Ceramic lining tool. So that when I'm adjusting my probe to make sure it's all good, I can use these. And I'll just give me a second and I'll show you what I mean with the tweezers. So when I want to put on a component, I can just uh, hold it in place like that and solder it, this is going to make life a lot easier. And then just release it. Uh, the second part of this mailbag was delayed a bit because we had a windstorm on, I believe it was November 4th, which was a Friday. And when I woke up on the Saturday morning, my ears are very sensitive to the sound of running water. The tree out front had a root uh, must have had a root, or does have a root, uh, close to the water line. And there was actually a rock, like, in here. And it was a big rock. It took a lot of effort to get it out. But it was right up against the pipe. And there must be enough movement to snap off the connector. Oh, goody. And plumbers don't work on Saturday and Sunday, even though they advertise emergency service. I have uh, restored water partially, uh, doing a lot of bypassing. And on um, tomorrow, I'll have a proper plumber come in, tell me how much he's going to do me over. And uh, then I'll decide if I just uh, finish the plumbing myself and wait till summer to do a good job, or if I'll just fork out a pile of money. So, there's more packages. And let's take a look at what's in these. Oh, this one got here quick. There's going to be a bit of cutting and pasting on this one. Okay, got some desoldering wick. They're a dollar nine a piece. I believe they're uh, about a meter and a bit. Uh, I just needed some supplies. There's a two millimeter and a three millimeter. Uh, this here is a infrared remote control uh, for a future project. A little solar toy. I thought this was kind of cute, so I decided to pick it up. And at $2.20, I'll probably get my money's worth of playing out of it. I picked up some solder, 0.5 millimeter, 2% flux, uh, $2.54. And should be some LEDs. Ah, yes.
These are um, 10 watt, 900, uh, I believe it's lumens, uh, 10 pieces for $2.54. And also I picked up uh, 10 MOSFETs, 1RF uh, 520s. Uh, that's just for stockpiling for right now. And on to the next. We have a box. Well, it's box. But no tape's going to stop down my wood cutting knife. Okay. Oh, lots of goodies. Let me just lay this out. But, one moment. So this lot here actually came in 16 days. It was listed as fast shipping. What I did pick up was... These are going to be for mostly outdoor projects. Uh, five uh, one-channel relays. But, picked up five of those. Uh, they were 67 cents a piece. And this here is actually a battery tester. It's a ZB2L3 uh, so that you can figure out how many milliamp hours is in the battery. I already have one of these which I promptly dropped and broke. The other one's fixable but I eh, figured I'd get another one. Uh, these are passive infrared uh, detectors. Uh, it's the HC5R501s. Come back here. You can adjust the sensitivity and you can adjust the time delay. I already used uh, one of these in one of my outdoor Halloween things picked up 10 of them. I might be repeating myself already. Uh, 85 cents a piece. Not bad. I picked up also um, an RFID module. Apparently it runs at 13.56 megahertz. Don't have one of these. Uh, don't have a project for it yet, but I'll think of something. And then... These actually are 10 um, CCWL0516 microwave radio sensors. Where these can come in handy is with these to cut down on false triggering. Uh, that way, if this senses something and this senses something, then maybe there's something there. Whereas... Um, these alone might detect, uh, say, a tree moving around a bit, and this one may not detect any real change in the uh, temperature pattern out there. So these are for mostly for outside projects. And if I forgot anything, I'll be linking it up there or there. And that's it for this one, because I've got more digging to do outside. Get ready, set, go!